Okay, everyone, the Halloween special is going to continue now as we switch over to the PC, in which the first game on our PC list is going to be the 1995 PC version of Jeopardy. Let's see how we do. Here we go. Jeopardy. Welcome to Jeopardy. Let's begin our game. Let's do that. I'm not going to be her. I'm going to be him. We'll use the enter key to buzz in. She can be a uh, computer opponent, and he can be a computer opponent. Hi, my name is Willa Bernstein. I'm in-house legal counsel for a computer corporation, and in my private time, I play my violin for a local symphony. My name's Ted Smith. I'm a print journalist with a major weekly news magazine. I love my job, and I spend my spare time studying the day's events from Washington. And we're about to start the game here in a second. All right, contestants, let's begin round one. The there is one daily war. double on the board, and here Opera, are the categories. European capitals, mythology, flowers, and we'll close it out with authors. Okay, here we go. Good luck. Contestant number one will start with you. Authors 100. The answer is... This Gone with the Wind author's second husband has had been best man at her first wedding. Contestant number one. Who is Margaret Mitchell? You are correct. Contestant number one. Author's 200. Alice B. Toklas translated this author's 1938 book, Picasso, into English. Contestant number two. Is it Gertrude Stein? Yep. Yes. Contestant number two. C.S. Forster introduced this naval hero in 1937's The Happy Return. Hmm. I don't have any idea. Captain Horatio Horn Hornblower. Contestant number two. Okay. This playwright was born John Casey and gallicized his name about 1909. Contestant number two. O'Connor, no. Sorry, incorrect. Anyone else? Contestant number three. Sean O'Casey? Yes, yep. that's correct. Contestant number three. In 1992, Alice Walker wrote a new preface to the 10th anniversary edition of this novel. Contestant number one. What is the color purple? Yes. That's correct. Contestant number one. Civil War 100. This man who led the Confederate Army had once been offered command of the Union Army. Contestant number one. I'm going to try it. I'm going to say who is Robert E. Lee. You see the one? Yes. Yep. Contestant number one. Civil War 200. This ironclad was blown up May 22, 1862 by retreating Confederate forces. Contestant number one. What was the USS... Constant, er, was it Old Ironsides? I'll just say the USS Constitution. Wrong. No. Contestant number two? Monitor? Uh-uh. Sorry, that's incorrect. Contestant number three? The Merrimack. Oh, yeah. You are correct. Contestant number that's three. okay. Moving on. When the war broke out, she was a patent office clerk. She went on to be the angel of the battlefield. Contestant number one. Who was uh, Angel of the Battlefield? Who was Clara Barton? You are correct. Contestant number one. Yeah, let me move that up there. Uh, Civil War 400. For this battle, David Farragut was a rear admiral. After it, a vice admiral. Contestant number two. The Battle of Mobile Bay. Yes. Yeah. That's correct. Contestant number two. 
The border states ran from Maryland in the east to this state on the Mississippi. Contestant number two. Louisiana. Sorry, incorrect. No. Anyone else? Contestant number three. Is it Missouri? That's the one. Contestant number three. Oh boy, opera. The title character of Verde's opera, Don Carlos, is the infant of this country. Contestant number one. What is Spain? You are correct. Contestant number European one. European capital is 100. In 1986, in this Icelandic capital, Reagan and Gorbachev discussed arms reduction. Contestant number one. What is Reykjavik? You are correct. Contestant number one. Uh, European capital is 200. It lies on the Manzanares River near the exact center of the Iberian Peninsula. Contestant number one. What is Madrid? You are correct. Contestant number one. European capital is 300. Tours of this capital frequently begin at O'Connell Bridge. Hmm. Contestant number three. London? I don't think so. Sorry, that's incorrect. Contestant number one. Is it Dublin? You are correct. Dublin, Ireland, yeah. Contestant number one. In June, daylight in the Swedish capital can last over 20 hours. Contestant number one. A lot of daylight. What is Stockholm? You are correct. Contestant number one. In 1989, violence erupted in this capital city leading to the overthrow and execution of Nikolai Sel so you Contestant number one. What is Bucharest, Romania? You are correct. Contestant number one. Flowers 100. Popularly grown for its seeds and oil, this flower can reach a height of 15 feet. Contestant number one. What is the sunflower? You are correct. Contestant number one. Flowers 200. Prickly pear variety of this plant grows flowers in red, purple, and yellow. Contestant number one. What is a cactus? You are correct. Contestant number one. Flowers 300. In 1907, Anna Jarvis chose pink and white varieties of this flower as the symbols for Mother's Day. Contestant number one. What's a carnation? You are correct. Contestant number Flowers one. 400. Heavenly blue is among the favorite varieties of this early hour bloomer. Contestant number one. What is morning glory? You are correct. Contestant number one. Daily double coming up. Contestant number one. Uh, let's do what would you like to wager? Grown from bulb like structures, this flower of the iris family is also known as a sword lily. I don't know this, but I'm going to take a guess and say what's a crocus. No, nope. I'm afraid that is not correct. Gladiola. Contestant number one. Upper 200. The 1925 opera at the Boar's Head is based on his Henry IV plays. Contestant number one. Who is William Shakespeare? Yeah, he's the one. Yes. Contestant number one. Opera 300. Zamoro is an Inca chief in Alzira, an unsuccessful opera set in this country. Alzira. Contestant number one. What is Peru? Yes, that's correct. Contestant number opera one. Opera 400. His operas Manon Lasco and La Bohème both premiered at the Teatro Regio in Turin. Contestant number three. Puccini? You are correct. Yep. Contestant number three. It's all right. Operas are sung in Flemish by the Royal Flemish Opera, which is based in this country. Contestant oh, number two. Belgium, yeah, I knew that one. Yes. That's correct. Oh, well. Contestant number two. All that's left is mythology. The labyrinth was built to house this creature. Contestant. Centaur? Uh-uh. Oh, I'm sorry. That's wrong. That is wrong. Contestant number two. The Minotaur. I think so. You are correct. Contestant number two. It's the answer to the Sphinx's riddle. What walks on four legs in the morning, two at noon, and three in the evening? Contestant number two. Man? I don't think so. Yes. Oh, it is? That's correct. Contestant number oh, two. Oh, never mind. Picus, a son of Saturn, was turned into a woodpecker after he rejected this enchantress. Heck if I know. Contestant number three. Is it Circe? You are correct. Yeah. 
Contestant number three. Moving on. In Greek myth, this goddess has a magical girdle that made those who wore it charming and beautiful. Contestant number two. Aphrodite? Yes. Yeah. That's correct. Contestant number two. Now the last clue. After she was abandoned by Theseus, Ariadne married this god of wine. Contestant number two. Pan? I don't think so. Sorry. Incorrect. Contestant number three. Bacchus? I think so. Double Jeopardy time coming up. Correct. Now for the Double Jeopardy round, with two Daily Doubles somewhere people, on the board in singers, these categories. Notable names. World Geography. Oh, good. Tropical Fruit. And we'll close it out with the American Theater. All right. Good luck. Contestant number two, we'll start with you. 20th century people, 200. The answer is... In 1932, Life magazine quoted this inventor saying, Genius is 1% inspiration and 99% perspiration. Contestant number one. Who was Thomas Edison? Yes, that's correct. Contestant number World one. World Geography 200. A city in Indiana is named for this capital of Switzerland. Contestant number one. What is Bern? Yes, that's correct. Contestant number one. World Geography 400. Midway between England and Northern Ireland, you'll find this fa island famous for its tailless cats. Contestant number one. What is Manx Island? Sorry. No. That's incorrect. Contestant number two. Aaron? Oh, I'm sorry. That's wrong. That's wrong, too. Contestant number three. The Isle of Man. Oh, yeah. Yes. Contestant number three. World Geography 600. These mountains extend over 1,200 miles across Morocco, Algeria, and Tunisia. Contestant number one. What are the Atlas Mountains? You are correct. World Geography Contestant 800. Contestant number one. Daily Double. The answer there is one of the two Daily Doubles. Also 1,100. Contestant number one. What would you like to wager? The Vistula is this country's longest river. Vistula. Mm. Vistula. Um, I'm just going to say what is Portugal, but I don't know. Oh, sorry. Poland. That's not right. It's okay. Contestant number one. Famous for its scenery, the Gasp Peninsula is part of this Canadian province. I was in the right continent, but I was in the wrong country. Contestant number Poland two. Poland and not Portugal. Nova Scotia? Oh, I'm sorry. Not Nova Scotia. Contestant number three. Quebec? Yes, it's Quebec. that's correct. Contestant number three. Tropical fruit, 200. 60% of the canned products made with this fruit come from Hawaii. Contestant number one. What is the pineapple? You are correct. Contestant Tropical number fruit, one. 400. Like a lemon, the skin of a ripe breadfruit is this color. Contestant number one. What is yellow? Yes, that's correct. Tropical Contestant fruit number one. It's the source of the enzyme papain, which aids in digestion. Contestant oh, number two. Buzzer. Breadfruit? No. Sorry, incorrect. Contestant number one. What's a papaya? Yes. There we that's go. That's correct. Contestant number one. Its Spanish is from the. Its name is from the Spanish aguacate, which came from the Aztec aguacato. Contestant oh, number too two. Late. The avocado. Yeah. Yes. Contestant number two. Folk singers a thousand. Light is the last name of this singer seen in the Dylan documentary, Don't Look Back. Contestant number two. It's on the tip of my tongue. Sorry, incorrect. Good answer. Anyone else? Contestant number three. Could it be Donovan? I don't think so. Yes. Oh, it is? That's correct. Contestant number Never three. Never mind. Notable name's 200. H.L. Mencken nicknamed him Roosevelt Minor. Contestant number one. Who is Franklin Roosevelt? Franklin Donald Roosevelt, yeah. 
Good job. Hey. Contestant number one. Home Lane's 400. One of the two playwrights named Miller who won the Pulitzer Prize for Drama. Contestant number one. I'll go for who is Arthur Miller. Yes. That's or correct. Jason Miller, Contestant or. number one. He married Evita in 1945 in Isabel in 1961. Contestant number one. Who is Juan Perón? Yes. That's correct. Contestant number one. This director produced many of his own films, including Strangers on a Train. Contestant number two. Alfred Hitchcock? Yes. Yeah. That's correct. Contestant number two. Okay. This prince consort was only 42 when he died of typhoid fever at Windsor Castle in 1861. Contestant number Prince Albert? You are correct. Yep. Contestant number three. This peach of the tropics with a single large flat seed can weigh up to five pounds. Peach of the tropics. Hmm. Contestant number three. The mango? I think so. Yes, that's correct. Contestant number three. The American Theater for 200. First theater in the American colonies opened in 1716 in this colonial capital of Virginia. Contestant number one. What is Williamsburg? Yes, that's correct. Contestant number one. The 1927 comedy The Royal Family was inspired by this royal family of the American stage. Contestant number two. Once? No. Incorrect. Contestant number three. The Barrymores? I think so. Yes, that's correct. Contestant number three. Alma is known as the Nightingale of the Delta in his play, Summer in Smoke. Contestant number... O'Neill? Uh -huh. Wrong. I don't have any Contestant idea. Contestant number two. Fitzgerald? I don't think so. Sorry. That's incorrect. I don't have an answer, so I will not buzz in. Oh, well. What are you going to do? Tennessee Williams, okay. Contestant number three. This 1982 Peter O'Toole film set in the 50s became a musical in 1992. Lenny Kazan was both. Was in both. Contestant number one. Okay. What is... The greatest year? Wrong. No. Was I on the right track? Contestant. My best year. Oh, I'm sorry. No, not That's quite. Wrong. Contestant number On the right three. Track. My favorite year. Yes. That's correct. Contestant number three. Ah. Uh, she wrote the book for the musical Candide, but is best known for dramas like The Little Foxes. Contestant number one. Who is Lillian Hellman? Yes. There we go. That's correct. Contestant number Full one. Singers 200. He's recorded folk songs like Danny Boy, but is better known for Calypso numbers like Deo. Contestant number one. Who is Harry Belafonte? You are correct. Contestant number one. The first album they released under their own names was Wednesday morning, 3 a.m. Contestant number two. Everly Brothers? No. Oh, sorry. That's not right. Contestant number three. Paul Simon and Art Garfunkel? Yes. Simon and Garfunkel, That's correct. yeah. Contestant number three. All right. Here's a daily double. Uh-oh. Could be in trouble here. The clue? It's the daily double. 600 only. All right. Here is the clue in Folk Singers. Woody Guthrie began this song, probably his most famous, as a parody of God Bless America... This land is your land. You are correct. Yep. Contestant number three. This co-founder of the Weavers wrote the book How to Play the Five-String Banjo. Contestant number three. Pete Seeger? Yes. Yeah. That's correct. Contestant number three. Present your people for 400. In 1968, this presidential candidate of the American Independent Party got almost 10 million votes. 
Contestant number three. George Wallace, yeah. Yes, that's correct. Contestant number three. All right. Books by this Norwegian include South Pole and First Crossing of the Polar Sea. Contestant number two. No, not Ronald Lemon. Sorry, incorrect. Contestant number three. Roald Amundsen. Yes, that's correct. Contestant number three. Okay. Before commanding the AEF in World War I, this general pursued Pancho Villa and his men into Mexico. <clears throat> Contestant number two. General George Marshall. Oh, sorry. No. That's not right. Contestant number three. John J. Pershing. Yes, that's correct. Contestant number three. Okay. He began sculpting a stone mountain memorial <clears throat> in 1923, but work was halted in 1925 due to controversy. Contestant number two. Gutzon Borglum. Yeah. Final Jeopardy. You are. The Final Jeopardy category is. Contestant number one. What would you like to wager? 4701. The Final Jeopardy clue is. A 1920s French production of this musical about 19th century entertainers was titled Mississippi. What is showboat? Contestant number one. Your idea. final Jeopardy response was right. Let's see oh! what contestant number one weighs. Really? I got it right? <laughs> My only hope is your Ted total? gets it wrong. Let's find out. I have a $1 contestant lead. Contestant number three. Your final Jeopardy response was, good job. Oh, Let's see what contestant number three wagered. He won. That's all right. I tried. Your total? I'll see you all for that next segment right after this, though. Sorry you didn't win. Sharpen your wits and try again. Well, at least I tried this time, so see you all next time.